Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus sign. We're going to take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for additional information or messages. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. So very interesting illustrations. Uh, the magician here is summoning the powers in front of him. It's really his own power because each and every person has uh, talents and abilities and strengths and things that they learn along the way. And so when we see the magician, we think about creating and building our hopes, our dreams, our future, the way that we want to live. And it's taking all of these elements here that are on the table and creating, uh, creating the reality versus the dream or the possibility or the potential. When we think about the magician, we think about the right amount of you and the right amount of your talent in order to create, you know, your beautiful house, the, the life that you want, you know, symbolic within the house. And you know, the magician requires action, and that's an important piece to think about. It's initiative, it's to think about things, but then it's really to set everything in motion, to take the steps to creation and to manifesting. It's up to you to do so. And you have to believe in yourself. You have to have faith. You have to have faith that the universe is divinely guiding you or inspiring you. And you can see he's looking up to the heavens. And it's the, it's the lightning rod of creation that, that flows through you. And so we need to bring in our passions. We need to bring in the things that make us feel purposeful and happy and joyful. You know, our activities, if it's, if this is something that you want to manifest with respect to a relationship, it's getting yourself out there to meet people. If it's with respect to career, it's getting perhaps additional training or setting up a different network where you can um, make some connections to help you. But it's really sitting down and you can see this spark of light. You're the spark of light. You take everything and you take all your energy and it creates this incredible force. And the force is the potential that you're going to manifest and create. And again, it's potential, you know, the magician hopes to realize the potential and to make it so. And it's to bring it about within your life. So with the magician, it's a strong energy, big energy, a big idea. Here's the King of Swords. The King of Swords looks so serious here. Quietly, looks stoic. He's holding the sword. The sword is gleaming also. It's sharp, it's powerful, it's, you know, it can uh, do really good things or it can do harm. So when we see the King of Swords, we think to ourselves: we're thinking about using our intelligence, our reason, our logical powers in order to make decisions, in order to solve problems, and in order to strategize about our future. We're not getting caught up in, in uh, drama or gossip or negativity. And, you know, you're sticking really right to the facts, the evidence at hand. And when you do that, and you, when you have that very surgical, precise focus, that can help you move forward. So this is, you know, this is very resolute power. So we often think about King of Swords type of people as a judge, as an attorney good with words, able to unravel complex ideas. You're doing it through your smarts, through your reason, through taking your time in working through the problem versus reacting impulsively or emotionally. 
may not be the, the softest touch here or the gentlest soul, but rules with fairness, looks for truth, wants the facts. So how can the king help you? The king can help you as you work through things within your life is to kind of work with what's there, work with what you know, look at issues or scenarios from all sides, be informed and try to make fair and truthful and, um, you know, decisions based on what you see, what you read and what you believe there based on the evidence. And then finally we have the, um, we see that the pregnant lady here picking an apple off the tree, the seven of pentacles. So this is an idea of patience and nurturing and taking care of your ideas. You may be taking a break from all of the thinking, the visualizing, the steps in order to assess what you're doing. You may be thinking, is there a better way I can do this? You may be thinking, I'm tired and I need a break and I need to recover my energies before I can proceed. The Seven of Pentacles goes to often our work, our resources, um, the energy and the effort that we put into, into our goals, our dreams, whatever it is that we're focused on. If it's your relationship, the work that you put into it, you know, maybe you need to take a step back to recalibrate, to reset, or, you know, you're just going to patiently continue on. And you know that at just the right time, the fruit, and then at just the right time, the baby will be born. And it's a matter of patience until you get to the reward. So interesting messages for today um, with the magician and the initiative and the creativity and the desire to fulfill your desires, coupled with the intelligence and the resolute, forceful, powerful nature of the King of Swords, with this tender understanding of it takes time to succeed, it takes time to reach your dreams. I just have to make sure that I put in the right amount of energy and focus and when it's too much, I can take a step back. I'm not going to quit, but I'm going to continue on. So patience, uh, again, reason and initiative. So numerology wise, we have one, two and seven is nine and nine is about nearing completion. It's about wisdom, spirituality it can be about being idealistic. And then finally, I'm going to choose an oracle card for an affirmation for the day. The card says, listen, you have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. Now is not the time to be offering advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not to just what's being said, but to what lies beneath the words. So it's listening for the deeper meaning and really for the inferences that you make when you talk to someone and uh, you, you listen carefully and we go from there. So my friends, this is what I have for you for the day. I hope that you found something helpful here. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, comment below. And uh, I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you tomorrow for another reading. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.